Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance, episode number five of Guess the Trade. Now, if we go back to episode four, we had Search Eternal, Lockhammer, and then Jan P. So just to give you a heads up on what they do with their tools on the Guess the Trade aspect of these videos, Jan P is a homeowner, and then he called himself also a hobby handyman. Said he goes to a lot of his relatives' houses, helps them fix things, stuff like that. Uh, Lockhammer is a locksmith, and then also a security hardware installer. And then Search Eternal, I couldn't find anywhere in the comment section where you went down and answered, you know, what you were. And then also it wasn't in the email to me. So I'm not real sure on uh, Search Eternal. So if you could go to that video and help us out uh, by answering some of the comments. And again, if you are sent me in information and we use you in a video, uh, please make plans to uh, go into the comment section. There might be questions about tools. There's going to be guesses about what you do, all those things. Please spend some time to answer those things if you can. Again, that's the whole purpose behind these things. But we've got three more that we're going to look at today. We have Evan Bunch, Ismael Ortiz, and then Contreras 21. So we've got a Milwaukee bag. I think there's a Vito bag. And then there's a pouch of some kind that I'm not sure exactly uh, what pouch that it is. I couldn't figure it out anyway, so maybe you guys can help out with that. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into these today. Let's look at their tools and see if we can guess what their trade is or see if we've got any tool questions as well. So the first one that we're going to look at is Evan Bunch, who has a tech pack. So let's go ahead and look into what tools he has. So we start out with this first picture. Uh, I did remember this in his email. This is his everyday carry, uh, very much like mine, other than the pair of pliers over here. He's got the Knipic 03140. He's just some combination pliers. An Olight Baton 3 Pro, that's a pretty good light. That's a super nice light. And then the Milwaukee Fastback, that's the 1505 with the uh, screwdriver attachment. Again, that's the same thing I carry in my pocket each and every day as well. Next picture we go to is the outside of his bag. Again, he's got that tech pack. He does have his tools blown out here in a little bit. So again, you might not see me spend as much time on these. I know many people love those tech packs. I don't, I don't, I know I would put too much in it is why I've never bought one. I try to buy smaller bags if I can. Has the bolt claw on the side, a hammer, a cup of tape measure. Here's the business end of the bag. Again, lots of screwdrivers that are Klein, it looks like. Uh, lots of different, probably Knipics, along with some Klein um, pliers as well. Stud Buddy, some Weeha Precision Drivers. Again, we're not going to go in great detail. Looking at these, these, anytime I stay on these pictures and I know there's a blowout, it's more so you can kind of see how they have their bags set up. So in case uh, you need to learn something about a bag. Also has a Joey Hostry uh, pouch up here as well, it looks like. Uh, back side of the bag, he's got an M12 uh, drill driver. It's a drill driver and then also looks like probably a meter of some kind up in there. Uh, lots of different bit attachments, a hardware box, jab saw. Uh, again, just take a look at how he's got it set up there. Here's outside of the bag, all the stuff kind of blown out. He's also got the Railer Magmat. I've seen several of you all have those. Uh, I really like mine. I don't know. You, you guys can let me know in the comments below that have them, how you like it. I really, I really do like mine. I've not seen this little pouch before looks like it's basically good enough for a tape measure knife or two pencils and a pair one pair of pliers uh, so it's ergodine it looks like has the volt claw over here cobalt bag magna grip uh, just several little things right there in that picture and now here's the business part of the bag it looks like blown out so let's go up here to the top and we'll start with some bits uh, looks like he's got some hex bits, some sockets, also some driver bits. He's got the small Klein quarter inch uh, bit holder. Uh, I really like that. that that's so easy to use. Uh, the Klein six in one stubby, uh, some again, Weeha precision driver, stud buddy, uh, the Milwaukee light. That's several of you guys have had those in your loadout, that light right there in particular. It's such a nice light for the price and easy to get because it's at Home Depot. Uh, Klein Demolition Phillips Driver, Milwaukee Phillip, or Demolition uh, Slotted, two of the insulated Klein screwdrivers with the blades. Those are nice as well. A socket or nut driver Klein screwdriver. I think that's the older style. I don't think that's the pass-through. And for whatever reason, the pass-through one that I have a video for, 
like they've quit carrying that at Home Depot. And then like I've had several comments on that video of, hey, where can I even get this? And you cannot find that anywhere on the internet. So I don't know what's happened with that. I don't know if anybody's ever dug up and found the information, if there's something wrong with the screwdriver that they pulled it from the shelves and like totally discontinued it. You, But I have mine. I'm glad I got one because it's a pretty useful tool and I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, but anybody knows the answer, uh, comment down below if you've got one uh, or if you've been trying to get one and you can't find one, if anybody knows what happened to it, uh, let us know that in the comments below. I have no idea. You know, I've had several people ask me about it and I don't, I have no clue whatsoever. Uh, but we continue on. He's got another Klein screwdriver there. And then we get into his plier section. Uh, there's some Knipix 0201300s. He's also got a big pair of cable cutters. Uh, that kind of leans you in a direction of guessing what he does. There's not really a big reason to have those except for a couple different things. Uh, the little Knipix uh, bolt cutters, those work extremely well uh, as far as for cutting screws and things like that. Some Klein strippers, uh, the Knipix uh, insulated needle nose pliers, some Klein crimpers. I don't know what brand this, that's Knipix, but I don't, I've not seen those. It looks like just a pair of like shears. And I've also not seen this Milwaukee tool right here. I assume it's Milwaukee. It's got the lightning bolt. I have no idea what that's for. If anybody knows what that is, comment down below. It might be something that I've that should be obvious to me, but I've never seen it before. And then he's got a pair of Knipix pliers wrench, a pair of Cobras, the 10 inch, and then also some twin grips. And then he has a small torch and a lighter along with electrical tape, some super glue and a Joey pouch. And he also has the little uh, protectors for the pliers wrench, it looks like right there as far as for non-marring if you're working on something like that so there's all his business part of his tools we go to the next picture this was the back side of his bag uh, so he again has that m12 drill driver right there all these bits up at the top uh, along with that little milwaukee case that's a good case to put in your bag to hold bits that's the one i used to use all the time uh, before i found the railer bit rails he also has a flip socket he has the holstery driver master up there small piece of wire also there's his hardware boxes that would probably give us a little bit of a key of what he does for his trade as well it looks like he's got some uh, outlet cover screws some number sixes number eight or 632 832 uh, some self tappers over here is a big tail probably on part of what he does for his trade you can see some of the uh, knockout fittings and things like that inside of there. He has a Husky Punch, a small hammer, Milwaukee jab saw, a Klein handle that he can put any bit in. That's a good idea. I carry stuff like that all the time as well. Down here below, he's got a boroscope, it looks like of some kind. He carries the T5 600 electrical tester, a Klein non-contact voltage tester, a receptacle tester and then also a craftsman looks like possibly a small laser measure i'm interested in this right here that's a nice little ad for your tool bag so uh, evan if you can tell me where you got this little broom and dustpan uh, if you know what the brand of that is if that's on amazon or something if you can send that to me or comment below uh, what the brand on that is or where you got it at at least if nothing else because that'd be nice to have in my bag i could see that being pretty useful right there so uh, again, there's the other side of his bag. We'll take a look at that and see what you think. I believe that that's all of his pictures. That's the last of it. So that's his tools there. So again, take one good last look at his blowout uh, of the front side of his bag and then also the back side of his bag. So that's Evan Bunch. Let us know in the comments below if you've got any questions on tools. Again, I'd like to know where you got the little dust pan and the little broom. Uh, I'd like to know that because I think that that would be pretty useful. But let us also know what you think he does with these tools and his line of work. Again, I saw several things in there that are going to guide me towards electrician. He's got the meter. He's got the cable cutters. He's got several pliers, crimpers, all those things. His hardware boxes. That would be my guess. But you never know. Sometimes we use tools that other people use for certain things for something specific within our work. But that would be my guess. But let us know in the comments below what you think. And now let's get into the second person we're going to look at, which is Ismail Ortiz. He's got a pouch that I'm not real sure what it is. Maybe we'll be able to figure that out, but let's go ahead and take a look at his tools.
So again, you can see this pouch here and he does have his uh, tools, I believe, blown out at the end. So again, you can look at this. I have no idea what this pouch is. Maybe it's a Husky pouch. He's got a lot of AWP side pouches and things, which I think typically you get it low. So it could also be some kind of a cobalt pouch or something like that. A uh, lot of things packed in here. So take a look at that. Uh, he's got the little stubby multi down there. Again, he does have some cobalt tools and also, but he does have some Milwaukee, it looks like, and Work Pro. So he's got a mix of some Home Depot low stuff. I was just trying to guess that to try to figure out maybe if I could determine what this bag is. Uh, electrical tape, some Teflon tape down there, all sorts of things. Let's go to the next picture, which is just a little bit further back view. Uh, but kind of the same similar picture he does have a ball handle screwdriver of something like here i don't know if that's a vessel or that could be the craftsman one i think also has a black one like that next picture is the back side so again there's a couple awp bags that he has right there he's got the small dewalt little nine foot tape measure with a magnet that's a nice tape measure to have laying around and it's a nice one to put in your bag just for quick measurements uh, and then a roby bit set back here along with a railer bit rail uh, clipped onto the back and again I, I just i can't find a name oh there's something right there jonard i don't know if that's a tag on the i don't think that that is i think that's some other kind of a little clip so i don't think that's a tag on the bag uh, next picture is all the ones blown out so this is his tool loadout that's inside that pouch uh, so over here again we've got a ball handle screwdriver that looks like a vessel uh, i think it is so uh, that's the black one, probably the one that uh, is the very first one that I bought. He has a adjustable wrench, a pair of scissors. Uh, I'm not real sure what that right there is. That's something that was on clipped onto the back of his bag. Uh, you might let us know what that is, or if anybody else knows, you can comment below. Uh, he's got a chisel, again, a railer bit rail with some bits on it, a... It uh, looks like probably some pair of some kind of a pliers that he's got a rubber end on it. I don't know what those are. It also has the Klein uh, multi-nut driver, some Work Pro needle nose, some extended reach ones, a putty knife, uh, some couple pencils. It also looks like a precision screwdriver or a pick. It's either that or it's a bent screwdriver. I can't tell which one of the two. It's probably a pick because he's got a small screwdriver right there. Uh, flashlight, wire brush pair of cobras again i'm seeing those almost i think everybody's coming around to the canipix cobras and realizing how great that they are because i have i don't even know that, have we had a loadout yet that hasn't had canipix cobras in it i'm trying to think if we have i think every single one of them has i mean whether it's a homeowner whether it's a professional tradesperson, whether it's a maintenance person whether it's no matter what it is so far that we've covered I, I want to say, I'm trying to think if Lockhammer had one. That might be the only one that I'm not sure, the last one with the locksmith and security access. But I think everybody that has a pair of adjust or, or tongue and groove pliers, it seems like more people are finally figuring out how good the Knipics are because they are phenomenal. Uh, but again, we get back into these. He's got the Milwaukee strippers. Decent pair for the price, I think, in my opinion. Pair of Klein diagonals. Those work great as well. A... Looks like a HVAC uh, Klein 8 and 1, 11 and 1 type thing because it's got the Schrader core up there on the top. He's got a receptacle tester. I am interested to know, uh, Ismail, what this hammer here is because that's pretty neat. And sometimes people just look for something small like that to put in their bag. You know, I use the Knipix uh, in cutting pliers, or I forgot what the actual name for them are, but they're the hammer in style. Of basically some nail pulling type pliers I'll put a picture of them up here those are what I use for a small hammer in my bag if I'm not using my Weehaw hammer uh, but because they work great as nail pullers but they're also great for just a little hammer that you can use and it's about the size of probably that hammer you have there but I'm still interested to know because a lot of people ask that question to me all the time what kind of hammer can I fit in my tool bag also has a Klein stubby uh, some industrial strength E600 uh, contact adhesive, uh, small magnet, uh, Klein volt or no ideal, sorry, ideal voltage tester, a ratcheting wrench. Let's see if we can figure out what the size. It looks like a five sixteenths and a quarter. It's got a quarter on one side, maybe five sixteenths on the other. Again, there's that small Dewalt screwdriver, a cobalt, cobalt uh, small screwdriver handle that you can put bits in, uh, a few different bits. 
the Fisker's knife. A lot of people really like that. I've actually got that here on my workbench over there. Uh, it's a decent knife. I like it. I just can't get used to it because I've used the Milwaukee for so long. Uh, but it is a nice knife if you can catch one of those on sale. And then he's got some Craftsman uh, hex wrenches. Looks like uh, SAE. And again, a wire brush and a flashlight. So a couple pairs of Cobras there. Uh, lots of different tools. Lots of different variety of tools. Take a last look at that there. And again... Let us know in the comments below what your pouch is, Ismail. I'm, sure, I'm curious about that because you're holding a lot of tools in it. That might be a decent pouch for some other people to get. Uh, let us know that in the comments below. A lot of different tools. I would guess somewhere in that maintenance field, I don't see anything that sticks out and says you do one individual thing in particular all day long. Looks like to me you might do a multitude of things. That would be my guess. But again, let us know in the comments below if you've got questions for him. And then also guess down below what you think he does with his tools for a living. And that's going to get us to the last person today, which is Contreras21. Has a Milwaukee packout tote. Uh, we've got just a few pictures of his. He's also got them blown out at the end. So we'll take a look at the tools more in depth then. But let's go ahead and take a look at his pictures. So his first picture is a Milwaukee. Again, it's a packout tote. You can't necessarily see that from here, but that's what it is. You'll see it here in just a minute. And there's an up top view of what it looks like. Basically, if he's looking down into his bag to grab his tools, uh, you can see some of the strippers that we've used or talked about here in the last little bit. I had the Klein pair and the Milwaukee pair. I can tell some of those are Milwaukee handles as well, screwdrivers, hammers, all those things. So looks like a big Milwaukee fan in my opinion, uh, as I am as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and go to the next picture which shows kind of that it is a Milwaukee packout. He's even got it on top of packout. He carries probably a two foot level, if I had to guess, based on the size of the bag on the outside. And then he's already emptied out his bag. He's got one pair of blue handled pliers in there. Uh, so maybe we can guess what those are. A matter of fact, if I'm remembering right, he might have even said in his email, he left a pair of blue handles in there for us to play the guessing game on what do you think that those are. That's a Klein blue in my opinion. It's not a channel lock blue. Uh, so if anybody can tell just by looking at those handles, because I don't even think he put them in his blown out picture. I think I'm remembering that right from the email. Uh, put a guess down below what you think that pair of pliers is in the comments below. Now let's go ahead and look at his last picture, which are the, all the tools blown out. And yeah, you don't see the blue handle there. So everybody guess what that is. Uh, he carries the M18 uh, Impact or the surge i'm not real sure which one uh, let us know that below i'm always interested to see who all's carrying the surges and who's carrying just the regular impacts because i'm telling you now i've got the m18 surge i've got the m12 surge and if if your impact ever fails and now if you need an m18 for the power the surge is a little bit weaker than just a standard impact but not by much and as far as the m12 I personally feel like the M12 Surge and the M12 Impact. I've even got the newer Impact. I've got the newest one. I just picked it up uh, not too long ago. And personally, I don't even really care for this one. I think my last Impact was more powerful than this one, but I would 10 times rather have the Surge because to me it does exactly the same amount of work uh, and it's way better as far as it's not just the sound. It is quieter. It's just the way that it puts in screws and all those things. And I have found the M18 in my opinion to be exactly the same. Now, every now and then the M18 is not going to have the same power as your M18 impact, uh, but it's still good enough to do probably 85% of the things that you're normally going to do with one. But again, he's got the M18 there along with the charger. He's also got up here in the top, looks like a like container. It looks like it has a bunch of different connectors, wire connectors, like Wago style, but it looks like the push in and then also maybe some levers. So that should kind of put you in a direction at least uh, he's got two different non-contact voltage testers milwaukee and then also klein he's got the gfci tester that we just talked about a little bit in that last video that thing is great i mean if you don't have a g if you don't have a receptacle tester and you're in the market to buy one that's the one you should buy he's also got i think these are dual strippers i could be wrong with that because i haven't seen them in person uh, but several of you have commented, or at least it seems that way, it might be the same person commenting over and over, but I've had those suggested to me multiple times from people, and you get those at Harbor Freight. I'm assuming does Dole have the lifetime warranty at Harbor Freight like everything else? I'm not sure. You can comment below and 
help us out with that. And then I'm also curious if that is the case, because see, that used to be the way the Sears Craftsman stuff worked. You could have a pair, you could go buy one pair of Craftsman strippers. And then once they got dull, you could just take them to Sears and get you a new pair. I don't know if uh, Harbor Freight kind of works that way with their dual products or anything like that, Icon, whatever it is. And if that's the case, if those are good strippers and then you can take them in every so often and get you a brand new pair, that might be a really good way to go. Uh, but let us know in the comments below if you have any info on whether or not that works that way or if you like those strippers in particular. Uh, and then he also has several Milwaukee and Knippix pliers. He's got a pair of needle nose there, also a pair of the combination style Milwaukee strippers, uh, the diagonals and the linesmen. Those are the new made in the USA. Uh, I really like the look of those diagonals. Those look so nice. I've almost bought them about 10 times, but I've got the Knippix angled versions that I really like. And so that's made me not buy them, but I really, really want those. <laughs> they look so cool as far as the head of them. just looks like a poisonous snake or something almost. Uh, it makes me want them. They look mean, they look nice. And as far as the made in the USA pliers, if you go to Home Depot and you go to the section and you get some down, almost all of them got extremely good flop on them as far as you can just sit there and the other handle just moves. That's what I look for. I like the fact that I can get my hands on those and try them out. Uh, so I haven't bought any yet. So if you've got some of the made in the USA pliers from Milwaukee, uh, let us know what your experience has been with those. I know they're quite a bit more expensive. That's why I haven't bought them. Because it's like if I can buy Knippix for the same price, those have been tested by me. I absolutely love them. And if they were if they were a little bit cheaper, you know, I'd try them out and give them a try. But it's like if I can buy Knippix for the same price, I know they work. That's why I've been going that route. Uh, he's got the Milwaukee strippers that we just had a video for. Also has some of the Allen keys over here a Diablo probably spade bit set, a uh, square, a Milwaukee jab saw, crescent adjustable wrench, a Irwin vice grip, also a pair of like Cobra type. So wait a minute, we might actually have somebody here. No, no Knippix Cobras in this bag. So there we go. We done caught ourselves. I just said it in the last pictures. Uh, Contreras 21 does not have any Knippix Cobras. He does have the Irwin vice grips here. And those work pretty well as well. So they're not a bad option if you want to buy those a little bit cheaper. But again, I think Contreras, if it was my advice to you, is sometime or other buy you a pair of Cobras. Just give them a try. See what you think. I guarantee you that you're going to like them. Uh, we get back over here to here. We got some screwdrivers over here. Some Milwaukee. Looks like maybe an 11-in-1 style. Also the... Uh, ratcheting style that takes the different bits that slide into the handle. He's got an insulated driver, cobalt chisel, uh, another beater type chisel, Milwaukee knife, uh, also a pair of pullers there, end cutters, a uh, couple different pry bars, Milwaukee hammer, purdy scraper, chalk line, a couple different pocket levels, tubing cutter, uh, Milwaukee light here. That's not a bad light either. I still like the one that's a little bit smaller. We've talked about in several videos a little better than that one. I did buy this one at one time, but I ended up selling it because I just, I didn't like, I didn't find myself using it near as much. Also a headlamp, a bit case here, some utility knife blades. So again, take one last look at all those tools. If any of them jump out at you, tell you what he does. Also, if you've got any questions on him, be thinking about that. And then again, drop that in the comments below. What do you think Contreras 21 does with these? I know what I'm thinking. That's probably electrician again, again, but maybe we need to try to narrow stuff down into, is he a residential electrician? Is he an industrial, commercial? Does he do something specific in the trade? Like, is he an installer, a Finnish guy? Uh, sometimes maybe I see a lot of you comment and try to narrow it down like that and I think that that's an interesting way to go about it as well because sometimes it might be blatantly obvious what someone what field they're in but then trying to figure out what exactly specific part of that field they're in sometimes that's interesting to try to figure out as well so that's the three that we're going to look at today we got Evan Bunch, uh, Ismail Ortiz and then Contreras 21 uh, thank you for sending in your photos. Make sure you try to, you know, be active in the comment section below of this video to help people out guessing what those tools are or guessing what the uh, what trade you're involved in, what line of work you're involved in. 
And then don't forget to try to guess what those blue handles were in Contreras' video as well. So that's episode number five. Uh, let us know in the comments below what you think about it, what your guesses are. As always, you guys stay safe, have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video.